My name is Cherry Ng. I'm the project scientist for the Breakthrough Mission Initiative on the Meerkat Telescope in South Africa, as well as a similar program recently funded for the Very Large Array, the BLA, in New Mexico. Previously, I have commissioned the Canadian Chime Radio Telescope, which has made a lot of groundbreaking discoveries in the field of fast radio bursts, detecting hundreds of fast radio bursts within just first year of operation, and thus orders of magnitude more than any previous studies. Before that, I did my PhD with the Pax Radio Telescope in Australia. I personally discovered 60 new pulsars, and that's at the time some 2.5% of the entire known population. A pulsar is a rapidly spinning neutron star. To put it in context, the, how fast they spin as fast as a typical kitchen blender. They also have really high density. They have typically the mass of a, of a sun, but confined in a radius the size of a city like San Francisco. The most defining characteristic of a pulsar is the fact that their rotation and magnetic axes are misaligned. Just like a lighthouse, this is how we see the apparent pulse emission and that's also what gives its name pulsar. My main research interest is in the area of radio transients, especially pulsars and fast radio bursts. Now it turns out that there are a lot of similarity between the search for radio transients and signal signature. I'm excited to leverage my expertise in the area of radio transients and instrumentation and to contribute to the work of SETI. I'll be working closely with the two telescopes, Meerkat and the VLA. Both of them are really sensitive, world-class facilities. They are heavily subscribed. Lots of astronomers have a lot of ideas um, to conduct research projects with these two facilities. Now, what if all these different projects can happen simultaneously to maximize the scientific potential of these two facilities? This is where my new job comes in. I'll be developing a new Ethernet interface that will allow us access directly to the raw data from the antennas of these two telescopes. We'll be routing the data through a new flexible signal processing software that will enable commensal observations. That is to say, all these different research projects can happen simultaneously. Everyone can get access to the data streaming from these two telescopes continuously as the telescopes scan the sky. We'll be able to use the data to conduct a SETI search and look for a techno signature 24-7, while also looking for other interesting transients, such as fast radio bursts and pulsars. Well, there are a lot of interesting technical challenges of the project. One of them is that um, we'll have a really high data rate. Just taking Meerkat as an example, we'll have an input data rate of half a terabyte per second. That's some 40,000 times faster than the typical home internet connection you might have. So we really need a real-time processing pipeline, employing state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms to keep up with this high data rate and to look for any expected or unexpected transient signals in the sky. Now, there are quite a few common grounds in terms of the design of these two telescopes. Both of them consist of multiple antenna dishes and they are both located in really remote places, that is to say, far from artificial interference, providing really sensitive and pro probably the most the best quality observational data that you can hope for. Now, together with our new multicast interface, we'll be able to conduct commensal observation 24-7, providing coverage to a really large fraction of the sky. Just taking Meerkat as an example, we are expected to examine of the order of a million individual stars, and that's a thousand times more than any previous study has done. 